today I'm going to go through some nail polishes to see what I keep, what I get rid of. My hope is that I can at least maybe get rid of a third or so of my entire collection. So let's start. KB Shimmer Fleece Navidad. Beautiful, beautiful color. Love it. Uh, best gray I have. It has an iridescent shimmer running through it. Next, I have uh, January Morning by Girly Bits. Favorite white? Keep. Then I have what I'm wearing today is Leia by Zoya. Love. Keep. Uh, this is Formula X Moonwalk. Gold shimmery polished topper. For now, I'll keep it. Zoya's uh, Spencer, get rid of, have a color just like it. This is a polished for days H2O melon, so watermelon. Chalky base, don't like the base, love the shimmer, very pretty, but I cannot really deal with the, um, with the streaky base, I have no patience for it. Uh, this is OPI's Hello Kitty in Kitty White, White Pearl, can do White Pearl, clashes my skin tone, goes to my mom. Another, another White Pearl is Zoya's Janessa or Janessa, um, also same deal, clashes with my skin tone, get rid of it. This OPI and Don't Touch My Tutu from the Ballet, New York Ballet Collection um, doesn't apply very evenly actually, so I was disappointed with the formula. I have other sheer polishes I like better. I'm going to let that go. Another one I'm letting go of is Bare My Soul. Same deal, a bit. The application is not perfect, so I'm gonna let that go. Two polishes that I will keep is Essie's Ballet Slippers. Um, not perfect the formula, but it's such a classic and for now I'll keep it. I use maybe a third of it already, so keeping it for now. Mm, this one I love. Uh, it is Fairy Dust by Deborah Lipman from the True Blood collection. It has, it's a nice white, off-white base with a beautiful peach golden shift. Keep. Couple of nudes that I'm going to keep. Act Your Beige, this is a sheer nude that is very, very level when you're applying it. No streaks, two coats, and it's a nice sort of uh, sheer cover over your nail. Beautiful, keep. By the same token, My Vampire is Buff, is a nice nude beige that is very opaque, and on two coats it's completely flawless. Very good formula, keep. Mm. Glints of Glinda, same deal as Actor Beige, very good formula, keep. And it's a little bit more yellow. And this is Zoya's Erin, very, very sheer with a slight sort of micro, micro, micro shimmer running through it. Pretty for no manicure, just like days where you don't want to look like you have a manicure done, but you might. So this is very good professional color, keep. This Essie is high maintenance. <laughs> it's high maintenance. So it is actually high maintenance to apply as well. It's called high maintenance, and rightfully so. It's um, the formula is not my favorite, so I'm gonna let that go. This one is Act Your Beige, which is two thirds used up pretty much uh, in a mini. This is why I bought the full size, and I love this color. So this one I'm gonna pass on though because I have the full color. There's no um, full size, so there's no reason for me to hold on to this one. Bye bye. Next one I'm gonna let go of is Prelude to a Kiss by Deborah Lipman. Not a perfect formula for me, but a very pretty color, easy to apply. Um, a bit streaky. I'm gonna go. Bye bye. A white polish I'm not sorry to let go of is this uh, Curls Toes uh, Indie Polish, quite expensive, too expensive for what it is, called Bunny Slope. It's a very chunky glitter. It's really like, it's chunks of white with some uh, 
holographic, regular size, mid size glitters. I don't know, it's, it applies horribly. It's chunky, the glitter is chunky. Like it's pieces of white something. I don't know. Didn't really enjoy it, so I'm gonna pass that on. This white, I'm not so sure about. This is Aspen by Zoya. I haven't worn it as a full manicure, so I will, and I'll see how it goes. After that, I'll make a decision whether I keep it or I don't. Same goes for Zoya's Celeste. Not sure how I feel about it because I haven't worn it as a full manicure. It's another one of those uh, shimmery, off-white, sort of eggshell uh, colors. We'll see how it works. Maybe, maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be a disaster. We'll see. I haven't really tried it well enough yet. Okay. Next we have Zoya's Lulu. It's a nice sheer peach. Like it, keep it. Um, a Chanel I really enjoy in Emprise. Uh, 569. Love it, keep it. This one I really like. It has a bit of a pearl running through it, but it's really minimal on the nail. It's Zoya's Pandora. Like it, keep it. Next one is Zoya's Dot. It's a milky pink, uh, one of the very few milky pinks I own. Well, the only milky pink I own, really. Uh, very pretty, good formula keep. OPI in small plus cute equals heart from the Hello Kitty collection. It's cute, it's sort of a bit of a darker pink, baby pink, not a milky pink, it's a baby pink. I enjoy this, it's nice, I'll keep it. This one I used to love, and I've used up a full uh, bottle of this before. This is my second bottle. It's CoverGirl Outlast Polish in Megawatt Mauve. Received tons of compliments on it, but I'm getting kind of tired of the color. This is my second bottle, and it's already a third empty. I'll pass it on. Bye-bye. This one is a Butter London Cotton Buds. It's a pure white cream, really actually good quality white cream application. is good it's fine i enjoy this but i don't wear white polish really ever which is why there is a question mark for a couple of white polishes i have whether i'll keep them or not this one i know i won't wear i don't ever reach for it it just stands there time to let it go bye bye this is a topeless beach kind of nudie taupe I don't reach for it, although the color is very pretty and it is a very nice polish. The formula is good. Don't reach for it. I'm gonna let it go. Aha! Uh -huh. Lucky Lucky Lavender by OPI. Well, that is a cult favorite, although it's a very nice polish. I simply don't use it enough to justify having it. And it clashes my skin tone a bit. It just doesn't go very well. I have another lavender that I prefer, so this one goes. This looks like a uh, sort of a purplish pink, like a dark pink, but it's really kind of sheer. It's jelly with uh, some gold flecks. Very, very, very pretty. Um, Deborah Lipman Raspberry Beret. Like it a lot, actually, so I'll keep it. It's a mini. I'll definitely get through it. It's already a third empty. I love this color. Next, we have uh, Zoya's Kittridge. It doesn't come across as bright as it is. It is, in fact, kind of almost neon pink. This is the brightest pink I have, one of the brightest colors I have. I'll keep it. This is the lavender color that I do like. It's Go Ginza by Essie. I had a pedicure done recently with this color in a salon, and I immediately bought it the next day because it's just awesome. I love this color. It goes very well with my skin tone. Another favorite that I've had for a while and been using for a while is Madison Ave Hue by Essie. Gorgeous, gorgeous mid-tone pink with a bit of silvery shimmer running through it, but the shimmer is very, very minimal. It is awesome. I love it. I'll keep it. These two guys are my toe, summer toe colors. This is uh, Lament and Jomina from uh, Ilamasca. I'll keep both of these because they're very good toe colors for the summer. This is a pink that I will not be keeping. This is Pinking of You by OPI. Uh, it's a little sheer. It's kind of similar to Small Plus Cute Equals Heart by OPI. 
and uh, I just don't enjoy it as much. So I don't reach for it and it goes. A cool formula that I will let go of just because of the packaging, although I love applying with this brush. This brush is fantastic, bourgeois brushes and these polishes are great. So comfortable, so easy to use. It's very opaque, formal, it's fantastic, it dries very quickly. It is in Lavande Ex Exquise. So, uh, just this uh, clashes on my skin tone a little bit. This is why I'm getting rid of it, but it's a fantastic formula. I love bourgeois formula, but unfortunately I don't have any more right now. This Chanel Starlet, I'm gonna let go of because peaches like that don't actually look good on me. So this one is a bye bye. This one over here by Zoya is Aster. Actually, it does not clash very. It's not the most flattering color for me, but it doesn't clash that bad. And I really enjoy the actual color of the polish. It has some silvery shimmer. It's very beautiful. I'll keep it. Zoya's blue. Um, I think it's very pretty. So far. I'm not really sure if I'll keep it or not. So this goes into the maybe pile. Another thing that goes into the maybe pile is a hubby for dessert by Essie. This is very sheer, sort of uh, lavender whitey, very sheer polish. I'll see how it looks with my skin tone and how it applies. I haven't actually worn it yet, so I'll keep it in the maybe pile. Another thing in the maybe pile is topless and baref barefoot by Essie as well. Uh, it's a nice color, but I've never actually done a full mani with it, so I'm going to do a full manicure and see how it looks. Another maybe is Summer by Zoya. Again, I haven't done a full manicure with it. I will do it soon, and I will decide what to do with this. Another maybe, <laughs> we're on a streak, is Deborah Lipman's True Blood uh, collection Strange Love. This is a really nice mid-tone pink, um, sort of uh, sheer, so it's kind of a jelly, so it uh, appears a little bit lighter than it does in the bottle. I like this color, but I haven't worn it in a long time, so I'm going to wear it again and see if I still love it as much as I did before. A blue that I'm not sure about is Robin by Zoya. Uh, I think it's going to be a good toe color, but it doesn't look good as a manicure on me. I'll try it as a toe color and see what I feel about it. Okay, so this one is Mermaid's Dream by Deborah Lipman. I'm not going to keep it. It doesn't look great. It requires three top coat, three three coats. It requires three coats. It doesn't look good with my skin tone. And I just, I'm going to pass it on. Another shocker. I'm going to pass on Mint Candy Apple by Essie. I have this Zoya Blue that I'm going to try and I'm already not sure about. And SC is a little, this, they're very similar basically. I'm gonna go with the blue and see how it goes. And mint candy apple, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm also gonna let go of Serafina by Zoya. This is a nice silver, but silver clash with my skin tone as a nail polish. I like silver jewelry, but as a nail polish, it just doesn't look right. So this is gonna be let go of. Bye bye. Another one that I'm gonna let go of is this OPI Schnapps Out of It. It has a nice uh, pearl running through it. It's a very pretty color, but it doesn't look good with my skin tone, so it's a bye bye. Another color that I will let go of is this uh, indie Liz Cosmetics Mind Your Mittens. Very pretty color. I love the color of this, but it doesn't look good on my skin tone, so this needs to leave as well. Bye bye. One more green. <laughs> I'll get to the greens I like later. This is in Ilamasca and Milf. I bought it because of the name. It has a green pearly shimmer running through it. It's very, very mild and it doesn't really show up on your nails. So basically this green just doesn't look good with my skin tone. Needs to go. Bye bye. Are the two of Zoya's satin finish polishes in Tove and Sage. These are nice. I love the satin finish. Actually, I didn't expect myself. I, I go for glossy. I didn't expect to like the satin. Matte, I usually don't enjoy very much, um, but these are great. I'll keep them both. 
Another one I'll keep is a green that I do like. It's a green yellow sort of color, gelato, chilato, sorry, chilato by Essie. A nice summer toe color. I like it. I've worn it recently, so I know I like it. I'll keep it. This one I love, as you can see, because I've used quite a bit of it. Uh, this is OPI's Pink Before You Leap. Uh, it's a very elegant color. It's very sheer. It's not going to give you full coverage. It's just going to give you this rose gold, beige, shimmery, beautiful finish. Um, very, very elegant. I like it a lot. I'll keep it. Surprisingly, I really like this China Glaze. Don't let the dead bite. Uh, it's an awesome Halloween color, but I don't only wear it during Halloween. I just wear it. I really like this color. I think it looks awesome on the nails and uh, I'll keep it. A color I love to wear is Essie's Eternal Optimist. This is an ultimate classic work, co work color. I think it goes well with most skin tones and it's easy, easy, easy polish to pull off. Very, very work appropriate. Love it. Keep it. Another one I will keep is Zoya's Helen. Helen is my mom's first name. Uh, it's a nice tan color. This one I will not keep. This is a Formula X polish in Singularity and this is actually matte. I had no idea it was matte when I bought it. I don't like matte formula, especially Formula X matte formula, although I love their polishes in general. It has a nice purple shift. It's a grayish with a purple shift. Pretty polish, pretty color. Didn't like it on me. Passing it on. A purple I dislike is a Zoya's Caitlyn. Uh, clashes with my skin tone, although it's a nice dusty purple goes. Another purple that is warmer. I really like the color, but I just, although it looks good on my skin tone, or pretty good, I actually don't wear these colors anymore. So this one goes along with uh, this one by Essie, um, along with, well, oh, this one, along with this one by Zoya in Manon. This is more of a reddy purple, and it has a really nice sort of pearl running through it. It's very, very pretty. Uh, so all three of these are going bye-bye. This one is going to stay. This is a Godiva Pixie Dust by Zoya. Nice color, really cute texture, dries super fast, keep. Love this one by KB Shimmer. It's called Owl Miss You. Owl Miss You. It's adorable. It has sort of teal, uh, tarnished gold in and tarnished gold in the, this grayish base. Actually, work appropriate, but fun. It's really pretty, and it's going to stay. Another keeper is this Deborah Lipman Human Nature from the True Blood line. And it's just a nice grayish keep. This one is a maybe. I'm going to put it in a maybe pile and test it out. It is a great opportunity from 2015, I believe, fall collection. It's a nice peachy, nudie color. I'll test it out and see how it goes. Another one I'm going to test out is this OPI. Did you hear about Van Gogh? It's a grayish. It's a pretty grayish, light pretty grayish going to keep it and try it out and then make a decision after I try it. Another to be tested is the Putty in Your Hands by Deborah Lipman. This is another nice grayish but more on the gray side. Um, it's very pretty. I have very few grays. I'm going to keep this and uh, test it out. If I like it on my nails then I'm going to keep it forever. Next, we have, oh, I love these both. These both are gonna stay. This is, uh, it's all San Andreas' Fold by OPI. Love this color. Uh, and it is a sand, liquid sand finish. I love liquid sand finish. In OPI, it is super fast drying, super fast mani keeping. And this is, uh, you don't know Jacques by OPI. Classic, love wearing this in fall and winter. It's cozy color for me. This one I love. I will definitely keep. This is an Illamasqua color and facet. I bought it about three years ago um, when we had still an Illamasqua boutique in Montreal. 
closed down recently, unfortunately. Very sad. This one I love. I'll keep. This is a grayish with a beautiful... Next, this one is a uh, Frock and Roll by Essie from Love Pulse Collection 2015 Fall, I believe. I love this one. I think... Well, I've used about a third of it and I think once I finish it I'll probably order it online. I really, really enjoy this one. It's sort of a dark purple base with silver shimmer. It reminds me of like Linkin Park After Dark if you dump a, bun a bunch of micro shimmer into it. It's pretty. Keep. Another one I'm keeping is Little Brown Dress. This is almost black on the nails but has this tint of like not as harsh as black. Very pretty. Keep. Zoya Adida. This is uh, basically a dark brown or black base. I'm not even sure because it's just so dark with a uh, old gold shimmer. Very, very pretty. Keep. In the same vein, but more shimmery, we have a Black Pearl from KB Shimmer. I love this. This is so beautiful. It has holographic gold glitter and black base. Very nice. Keep. Um, something I'm not going to keep is this OPI in Comet in the Sky. Although it's pretty, I don't wear glitter like that pretty much ever, so I'm gonna let that go. Um, another one I'm gonna let go of is Muppets World Tour, also by OPI. It's a pretty glitter, but not, I never use it. Uh, another one I'm gonna let go and that's gonna hurt my heart. It's Orly's Tinsel. This I, I used to wear a lot during Christmas time because, hello, it's the ultimate Christmas polish. I don't think you can get more Christmassy than this. But I think I'm not going to be as literal anymore about Christmas and I'm going to wear something that is still has maybe a bit of a spirit, but it's just this. This is just too much for me at this point. So passing this on. This one um, is going to be a maybe. This is a chocolate mousse kind of color. It's Nisa by Zoya. Uh, I'm going to test it out and see how it goes. This one is like two thirds empty. It is OPI's Girls Just Want to Play. I've had this for years. I love this color. It's my signature red. I've received tons of compliments on this color. I'm going to keep it and use it up because it's still good quality. It's very strange. I guess this was be before the reformulation. They reformulated OPIs. They don't last as long. But this, this thing is full of chemicals and it lasts forever. So I'm going to keep you. This one is my summer red, Cajun Shrimp. Uh, fairly new. Actually still pretty liquidy and uh, works well. Could be a one coater, but I do too. I'm keeping you. Oh, this one is my favorite red. It's a uh, Gwen Stefani over and over egg Gwen. It's gorgeous. It's what vodka and caviar dupe pretty much for me. And vodka and caviar I recently threw up because it was just so dried out. Uh, so I'll keep this. Okay, a couple of reds that I'm not going to keep. This Butter London uh, in Blowing Raspberries is a cool red. I really enjoyed this. I used it quite a few times, but it's pretty full and still really new, pretty new. I'm going to pass it on to my mom. She'll enjoy it more. This one is a fiery, gorgeous true red. Uh, it is Suki by Zoya. I love this color and it's pretty much a one coater. It's gorgeous, it's fantastic, but I have too many reds, so this has to go. This is another red I'm going to let go of, and this is Romantically Involved, this from Fifty Shades of Grey, a uh, collection by OPI, I believe it was in 2015. Uh, yeah, it's a nice color, it's sort of a bit rusty, darker red, but um, that, I don't reach for it, so this is going to go. Ooh, we have a uh, Oxblood Claire in Zoya. Very pretty color, but I have Oxblood colors that I wear more, so this is going to go. This is a gorgeous purpley red with gold shimmer, Tegan by, by uh, Zoya. This I really thought about, but I have colors that I wear more, so this is going to go. This is a beautiful, beautiful color, Dark Side of the Moon by Deborah Lipman. This is a dupe for... Uh, Linkin Park After Dark. I swatched them right next to each other, if I can find them. They're here. They're pretty much the same. Um, this is a bit more sheer, so I'm going to get rid of this and keep my mini of Linkin Park After Dark. 
And then once I run out of the mini, I'll just replace it with the full size. So this one's gonna go. Bye bye. Oh, I love this one. This one is beautiful. This one is a Clinique Black Honey, and it's dupe for Chanel Rouge Noir. They're pretty much identical. I'm gonna keep the full size of Chanel Rouge Noir and let go of the small mini of the Clinique Black Honey. But I love it and I recommend it. But uh, since I already have Rouge Noir, I don't need two. So bye bye. Next, this bright red. Um, this is Speak for Your Elf. Um, this is a sort of a raspberry red a bit jelly base with a ton of red glitter. It's beautiful for the holidays. This is going to be my Christmas color. I'm going to keep it. This is gorgeous. This is a Guerlain color in 121. It's a true red. Nice cream. And the brush is fantastic. It's a paddle brush. It's such a good brush. Everybody should make that brush. Um, I'm going to test it out and see how it works because I actually haven't worn it yet. So I'm going to try it and hopefully decide what to do with it. This is another Chanel red-ish color. It's a soft red uh, called Elixir 589. I'm not sure what I feel about this because I haven't worn it in a long time, maybe in over a year. I'm going to test it on my nails, wear it as a full mani and see what I feel about it. And then I have two of these. I have Scarab by Ilamasca and I have Blair by Zoya. These are similar. I'm not sure which one I like better. I'm gonna wear them both as a full manicure each and then decide what I want to do with them. This one, I'm not sure if I wanna keep or not. It's a fantastic formula. I love the color, but I just have so many reds. I'm gonna test it and see how much I love it. If I love it a lot, I'll keep it. This one is, I'm not really a waitress, a 90s classic. I like it. It looks like a satin ribbon on your fingernails, and I'm going to keep it. This one, surprisingly, again, by China Glaze, I like a lot. This is I Love Your Guts. It's super fast drying, texture polish. Uh, very similar to Liquid Sand by, uh, um, by OPI. So I'll keep this one. And I have a beautiful color from the Gemstone or Birthstone collection by KB Shimmer. This is Garnet. This looks a lot better. Oops. This applies a lot redder than it looks in the bottle. This is full of gold, iridescent, and uh, holographic shimmer. Love this one. Keep. Colors by La Roe in Breathless. I like this a lot. This is a really nice, classy red um, for the toes. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to let go of this color by Zoya called Cola. It doesn't do much for my skin tone, doesn't really flatter me, so this has to go. This one is very interesting. It's Lubu Heels by China Glaze. Um, I like the color, but this one uh, Midnight in Moscow by OPI is the same, except here is fine shimmer and here is fine glitter. And I'm going to go with fine shimmer and keep that one. Get rid of this one. I will keep my Rouge Noir by Chanel. I like this color a lot and this applies very well, actually. I'm going to test out skirting the issue and see how I feel about it because I'm not sure if I should keep it because I already keep my Chanel, but they're not the same. Ah, so... This is the Chanel, this is the Chanel, and this is the Skirting the Issue, and I like them both. I don't know which one I like better. So, actually, I'm going to keep both of them, you know, whatever. I'm going to keep both of them and use both of them, and I'm going to be enjoying both of them. This is KB Shimmer You Go Ghoul. It's a nice purpley, ready base with some orange and purple glitters. It's a very pretty um, color for uh, uh, Halloween, so I'll keep this. 
Uh, also keep a raisin to live. This is a nice purple base with holographic glitter. I love this one. This is Miami Beat by OPI. It applies fabulously. The formula on this is great and it's very flattering color for me. I will keep every month in a, is October Fest. It's a purple base with red shimmer running through it. It's a very vampy color. I like it a lot. Keeping it. I'm not going to keep in the cable car pool lane by OPI. It's similar to Miami Beat, although Miami Beat looks different in the bottle, but they look more of the same on the nail, and this is a lot more sheer, so I'm going to let go of this. I'm also going to let go of Glitterati by Illamasqua. Although it's pretty, it's just not something I reach for. I'm going to let go of Sexy Divide by Essie. Although young, pretty, and polished, what's her uh, name? I, I'm not very good with uh, remembering names. Uh, she raves about this a lot, and this, I bought it because of her, because it's her favorite color. But unfortunately, it, although I thought it was pretty, it didn't wow me, and I don't reach for it as much. So this is going to go. Another one that is going to go to my mom is Vampire by Picture Polish. Actually very pretty, very similar to skirting the issue. I decided to keep skirting the issue, so I'm going to let go of the vampire. Another one I'm going to let go of is Which Way. This is kind of a very pale base, so I mean, it wasn't my favorite. I'm going to let it go. Sorry, KB Shimmer, I love you, but this is not my favorite polish. I'm going to keep Black Cherry Chutney. It's a purple with a sort of purple shimmer. Dark, dark purple with a purple gold shimmer. Shifty. Very vampy, very pretty. Keep. I'm going to keep my uh, um, Linkin Park After Dark. Love this color. Once I ran through, run through the mini, I will definitely buy a full size. Love it. I'm going to keep Russian Navy. This is a very beautiful, true navy with a purple, like a royal, royal blue, really, with a purple shift. Very, very pretty. Keep. I am not going to keep polished for days. It's a wonder. It's a snow wonder. I love this polish. It was freaking expensive, but it's just I have better polishes. I don't reach for it, so it's gonna go. I'm also going to let go of Deborah Lipman in my prerogative. I have this one that I'm going to keep, and they're super similar. This is a China Glaze in One Track Mind, and I enjoy this formula much better than this. It's much more pigmented, easier to apply. It's from the Train Collection. It's really pretty. I keep that and get rid of this. I will also keep Sansa by Zoya. This is a purple with a gold shimmer, and it does remind me of Sansa. When I look at this, I see Sansa. I understand why they named it that, or why they came up with the color based on the name. I'm not sure what was picked first, the color or the name, but it's a great polish. I love it. I'll keep it. Uh, Starry Starry Night by Essie is something that I wanted to get rid of, but then uh, I swatch and I can't because it's just so pretty. This one over here, it's completely gorgeous. It's very, very beautiful. And I mean, I was picking between Starry Starry Night and It's a Snow Wonder, and although this is, this is like Essie and this is a you know, uh, an indie polish that was more expensive. I still pick this one. This one I like better. It looks like a jelly. It's a jelly polish, of course. Uh, this one is Wharf 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 Liquid Sand. Love this formula. Love the color. The color is virtually the same as this One Track Mind Blue. They're the same color, but they're different finishes, so I keep both. To me, they're different enough. Um, this is uh, Essie After School Boy Blazer. Love this. It's nearly black on the nails, but still has this little bit of something something, so I like this enough to keep it. Another one I'm going to keep is pre Pretty Serious Polish in the Eye of Copernicus. I love the name, and I really like the polish. It's really dark midnight blue with tiny little shimmers. It, again, reminds me of Starry Starry Night, but this is more of a jelly, this is more of a cream base, and this is more more bright blue, and this is more midnight blue. So I justify keeping both. Another one of the uh, 
um, birthstone, I believe, polishes from KB Shimmer, and it's in Sapphire. I love this. This is beautiful, very, very bright. I'm going to show it to you. There is the black um, pearl. This is the garnet, and this is a sapphire. And these all three I'm going to keep because they're gorgeous. Look at them. They're so pretty. Um, so this is a yes. Some of the blues that I'm not going to keep are Chanel Azure. This I'm going to give away to my mom. Um, it's just not my color. It just doesn't look good on me, so bye-bye. Uh, this one in, oh, I love this color. You go to get this blue, but I just don't reach for it. It's such a pretty color. I'll show you that one too. Is this one. It looks almost like a cream. It has a bit of a sheen to it though. It's so, so nice. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it, but absolutely cannot keep all of polishes. So this one has to go. Another one I'm not keeping is between blue and green. And it's ca called Viridian by Illamasqua. Very, very beautiful color, but I don't wear these colors, so it goes. Another blue, a brighter shimmer blue, is St. Mark's The Spot. This is one of, I believe, one of the limited edition polishes for last fall, 2015. And it's beautiful, but I won't, I won't use it, so it goes. I am going to also get rid of uh, SC's Sable Color, although it's a very nice, complicated, interesting color. I don't reach for it, so it goes. Another color that doesn't look good on my skin tone is um, the Perfect Cover Up, and it's really pretty SE color. It's such a nice dark teal. Somebody else will enjoy it a lot more, but not me. Bye bye. Another color that is very nice but doesn't look great on my skin tone is Armed and Ready by SE. It has this beautiful golden shimmer that is very minimal, and it's this army green. Gorgeous color. I love the color. That's why I bought it, obviously, but. It's not going to work for my skin tone. Bye-bye. Uh, Azoya in Savita. This is a matte velvet finish. I don't like this color on me. I don't like the finish. Although I like Zoya's mattes. But this one, nah, nah, nah. See you later. Ah, I was fighting with myself because I have these two gorgeous colors. One by Girly Bits, one by KB Shimmer. And it's kind of a big deal by KB Shimmer and Darkly Dreamy by Girly Bits. And they are just too similar. This is the, the Girly Bits one. This is the KB Shimmer. Both of them are very similar. This has like red-orange shimmer and this one has holographic shimmer. That's the, about the only difference. I think I'll keep this one. I'll get rid of this one. Although both I love. But this one goes. Um... This one. This is awesome and very similar to this one. So this is the Vinyl Lux in Pretty Poison. This is a green with a gold, old gold shimmer. And this is a Live and Let Die. I think it's a James Bond collection. It's like a blue-green with the same kind of gold shimmer. They're too similar to keep both. So this one I will give away, and this one I will keep. Um, this Zoya, I forgot to talk about, I will give away, it's in Emilia. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to keep this forest green color by a picture polish called Kryptonite. It's very, very nice. It has holographic, tiny holographic glitter in it. Um, and uh, it's a really, really pretty color. So keep. This one I'm keeping because I love the name. The color is okay too. The color is fun for Halloween, perhaps. It's a green sort of... It's a green polish with some purple and blue shimmer. Uh, or glitter, I should say, not shimmer. And some golden green shimmer. Or micro glitter. So I really like this color, but it's by Pretty Serious and it's really the name that is awesome. Uh, Herald of the Skeleton War. I love this name. I'm gonna keep it for Halloween. I just, I really enjoy this name. Um, if it wasn't for the name, I'm not sure I would keep the polish, but I, I do use it, so it stays. Um, another one that will stay oddly is Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow. This is a sheer green, 
but it creates such a cool squishy effect I don't even mind applying three coats I'll, I'll do it um, it creates a really cool squishy effect on the nail so I really really enjoy this keep mm, another one I'm going to keep is this one this is my Halloween polish be careful from KB shimmer um, the base of this is actually really nice it doesn't streak it go on goes on well unfortunately I'm not gonna wear this a lot so I'm just gonna wait for it to go gloopy and then get rid of it but I love the color for Halloween look at this this orange and black some stars in there some triangles that are black very cool keep I'm going to keep Essie's um, shine of the times I think that was discontinued it's just the basic cool flaky I'll keep it because I what I like to do is sometimes I wear a dark manicure in the winter or uh, fall and then if it lo loses its luster it doesn't chip yet but you know it's just not as shiny and nice as it used to be instead of top coating it I'll put this on and it looks awesome so I'll keep this one this KB shimmer glitter in a dust in the bottle is amazing it's the prettiest prettiest micro glitter imaginable it's holographic it sits well on every polish I haven't seen a polish yet that it didn't work with that I tried so keep I'll keep to try this naked manicure by Zoya it's in a lavender perfector and uh, I mean we'll see how it goes actually this this will go into the maybe pile and these three I'm keeping for travel because I really enjoy traveling with minis rather than lugging a full polish. I'm not even sure what that is, but it is a sort of nude, opaque nude. This is a really nice uh, beige that is uh, sh quite sheer. And this I love. If I find this, um, I'll buy it. It is a uh, pirouette my whistle by OPI from the uh, ballet collection again. I love these glitter. I don't really usually wear glitter, but it's just so fine and it's so delicate. I really like it. I'll probably buy a full size of it once I'm done with this little bottle. Okay, so. Okay. Two last ones. This is a Spa Ritual glitter top coat. Well, shimmer top coat in glitter well winds of change glitter top coat it's really micro glitter it's very pretty iridescent gorgeous not gonna wear it don't reach for it at all and i'm getting rid also of as gold as it gets by essie because i always always will pick shine at the times over the gold flaky this will go this will stay okay so let's tally it up 74 polishes four of those are minis uh, 74 polishes is what I'm keeping. 18 polishes to try. These guys. It's about 74 polishes. These are my maybes to try and to see. I think there are 18 of those. And it's about 60 some, 64 I believe of the polishes that I'm giving away. So not too shabby hopefully by the end of all of this I'm gonna be halving my collection in two at least and 50% of it is gonna go but for now it's a little bit less than 50% and I'm gonna try a few polishes and see what I feel about them and uh, continue using my favorites alright see you guys later bye bye